Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to have you here. This playlist is called Tokyo Tours and we are going to use it to take deep dives into some of the things that are new or improved in the Tokyo release. This episode is all about Admin Center. Admin Center is a new experience that Docs describes as providing a central hub for platform owners and admins to access platform capabilities, discover new applications, and get intelligent, actionable insights. Sounds awesome. Let's see what it does. Okay, Admin Center has two separate interfaces and we are going to look at them one by one. I just put Admin Center into my uh, navigator bar and I can click Admin Home. Now, Admin Home has a lot of very different stuff on it. We're gonna go through this one by one. The first sections you'll see here are these apps ready to update and apps ready to install. If you take a look at these, it just takes you to the plugins list. It's just a filtered down plugin list. In this case, we're listing only applications uh, that have updates ready to deploy. Apps Ready to Install does about the same thing, except it's all applications that you have not installed. I'm curious whether this is gonna be useful day to day, but I do like the fact that it's kind of a contextualized list of things that you haven't got to. Next up is instant security notifications. If we click on that, we go to an experience that shows the weekly digest of everything that comes from the instant security center, which is awesome. I like the fact that this is data that's really important to an administrator, but it's all kind of aggregated in one spot. So I'm going to my admin center instead of going to my instant security center. And the admin center is giving me a lot more information along with. So that's the manage your instance section. The next section of admin home is review your work. And it's got some stuff that you would expect to see on any kind of work management homepage. There's got a list of assignments. It's got a list of critical tasks, a list of new tasks and some approvals. Now, it took me a bit to figure out exactly what they were doing, like this new tasks, for example. I don't really know what they mean by new, but if we look at the filters, we can see what conditions are there. And when I really think about it, I wonder if I would build this the same way or not. We also have this awesome approvals widget. I can just imagine having a ton of approvals in this list and instead of having to go to the list, open the record or right click and do a UI action on it, I can just approve, 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 reject, reject, reject. I love this part of the interface. Then we have a few sections that look to be reporting. So open tickets by age. It's arguable whether you want this or not. Favorites, I definitely don't want this here because I have favorites right up here. What good is this doing me? Then we have a section called requests and I'm still trying to understand the benefit of this section. Uh, it has this card-like interface. And when I click view all, we see that it's a list of tasks and if we hit the filter, we see that there's quite a number of conditions on here. I think what it's trying to say is a number of tasks that are related to you, it seems to be stuff that you have asked for. So this doesn't appear to me a, uh, to be a list of things that is assigned to the admin, but more like things that are consumed by the admin. Now this last section, tools and info to optimize your day, appears to be a section that teaches you other stuff you can do on the platform to make your life easier. What I don't like about this is it's ServiceNow 101. So stay on top of everything. If you open this, you're gonna to go to visual task boards. Get a clear picture of performance. It's taking you to the dashboard homepage. Expand your knowledge. You're going to the knowledge base. And in what world do we have a ServiceNow admin that doesn't already know about those things? I don't know what this is doing to actually help me. So, so far it's been kind of a mixed bag, but let's take a look at some of the awesome stuff with Admin Center. So we're gonna go all Admin Center, IT adoption journeys. Now, I don't think I've ever been at a client where the product owner hasn't said to me, Robert, what do we do next? And this, I think, plays really into the strength of what else can I do with the platform? So they've got this list of business objectives here, deliver extraordinary employee experiences, ensure technology teams meet compliance and performance standards. It says that I've already done 12 of the 15 for delivering extraordinary experiences. Let's take a look at that. Let's see the details. And it basically gives you a contextualized list of the plugins and applications in ServiceNow that can help you. For example, this shows that there's a walk-up experience and it's not installed and I may need to check licenses if I need to use it. Let's click on this, and it's basically everything you need to know to get this thing deployed. So it's got a summary, it's got some key features, it's also got links to product documentation, as well as now learning links that can help me actually deploy it. If I click this walk up experience process workshop, now I'm on now learning, which is providing me an asset so that I know how to deploy this. 
I love this interface because it provides a great means for admins and product owners to really get a feel for what else is out there in the context of their business outcomes. Final thoughts on Admin Center. I think Admin Center is very promising, but at the moment it's trying to do too many different things at once. I think the entire review your work section probably needs a rethink because I don't think understanding the work that's out there is really a problem that needs solving. Most teams have an operational dashboard that has all the work that they've got outstanding in exactly the kind of layouts and counts and reports that they want to see. So it's not a problem that needs solving. Also, I don't think front and center, we need apps that are ready to update versus apps ready to install. Updates maybe, apps to potentially install, it's just too big a list that's not handy enough. The request section just isn't visually there. The tools and info to optimize your day is just way too low level. These are all features that admin teams should know about already. What I really wish they'd do is take the business outcomes interface, uh, make it smaller and wider, and fit it into this section so that on my administrative dashboard, I see stuff where I can push the platform. The other thing I wish they'd do is just embrace this idea that this workspace can be the workspace that aggregates all other admin workspaces. You get a taste for it with apps ready to update, and the Instant Security Center notifications. But what I'd love for you to imagine is this experience with ATF results, with Upgrade Center results, and with Instant Scan results, thus making Admin Center the single experience by which we can get insights on the health of our entire platform. That's my two cents. Please feel free to give your two cents in the comments below and have a discussion on this. I'm really looking forward to what Admin Center can be in the future. If you're a ServiceNow expert looking for better opportunities, but maybe your resume or LinkedIn profile isn't doing you justice, reach out to me via LinkedIn or the email pictured here as I offer both career coaching and recruitment services. And if you're a ServiceNow customer or partner, you heard that right. Robert Fedoric now does ServiceNow recruiting. With a 1500 subscriber YouTube channel and mailing list and thousands of LinkedIn followers, let's make sure your open positions get first go at the prodigious pool of ServiceNow resources. Reach out via the email picture here.